So we're headed to Dumont Dunes right now and we're stopped on the side of the road because the turbo went out in our dually that we're pulling the trailer with. We were pulling it and all of a sudden it just like, it made like a huge popping noise and pulled back. So my dad's gonna try and fix that right now. We're on the side of the freeway in San Bernardino. It's kind of sketchy, but we'll see if we can fix it and make it to the dunes. <laughs> so we're here on the side of the freeway. Good old uh, Ford truck turbo blew up, hose blew up. I get to work on this thing on the side of the road. Let's see what we got here. Get my work clothes on. So, looks like a uh, turbo, turbo hose blew up. It sounded like a freaking grenade when I was, I was gassing it. It was like, whoa, boom, it just blew up and all this steam went everywhere. Uh, but there we go, time to go to work. Hopefully we got the right tools. We'll see, Haley's in the car there. Have her get out and help me fix this thing. Grab my trusty Craftsman tools. About to get to work here and fix this thing, all right? Dude, it blew up. It sounded like a freaking grenade went off in the front. The turbo just had a ton of pressure going through it. It's trying to gas it to go fast. It sounded like a water balloon hit the front of the truck. Luckily, that's all that happened. I thought we were done. I was like, well, there goes the day. Turn around and go home. But we're headed to Dumont Dunes to go ride the Polaris around. So to meet up with Kyle Bush, so we'll see. See what this adventure holds. I, I have a feeling it's this is just the beginning of a bunch of problems because pretty much all my equipment's pretty used. So we've got trailer lights that don't work. So I don't know how we're driving home with no trailer lights. Good old trusty Ford. Luckily I had a set of tools. I still need to fix the trailer lights though. <laughs> That's not gonna be good in the dark, but um, keep going. This is an adventure here today. I have a feeling there's gonna be many more things to fix, so we'll see. Okay, so we broke down again. The Wiggins clamp on the turbo hose just keeps sliding off. It's not tight enough, so I wrapped a rag around it to take up some of the slack. Hopefully that tightens it down a little tighter. And we will see, we're gonna see. If this thing keeps blowing off and breaking, then um, I guess we're done. So we'll see how far we get with this one. I just don't wanna get way out on that road to Dumont <laughs> in the middle of nowhere with no help. And then all of a sudden we are really screwed. So we'll see. Wrapped a rag around the turbo. Around the Wiggins clamp. Just um, yeah, I assume there's quite a bit of turbo pressure going through that hose. It blew literally last time I tightened it, it blew off within I know. freaking half quarter mile. I don't know. So far so good. <laughs> no. It's rolling, we're rolling. We got turbo boost, we'll get so. it boosting. Yeah. I had to call my trusty mechanic, Gene. Yeah, he's, he just has money. He's got a lot of experience, so. He told me, wrap a rag around it, tighten it down, and good on yeah. your way. <laughs> I said, all right, buddy, let's do it. Basically gonna go two wide, <laughs> people. <laughs> What's up with this? Go 
one too wide to holding this up. the turbo that keeps going out on the tracks. So we've stopped twice. Dude, here my saboteur yeah. got issue as well. <laughs> he knows how to put his blinkers on. He just doesn't know how to fix it. <laughs> what? No, it's we got fixed. slid off, huh? <laughs> okay, build and boost. Right. Here we go. See ya. Up the hill. So we got buzzers going off. The trailer disconnected. Running out of gas. <laughs> So here's our final civil civilization <laughs> and uh, food. So we're off. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. Down the road. You know what this road's called? Right here. Death Valley. Death Valley Road. Am I right? Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, I guess smog check. <laughs> I'm sure that's legit. Legit spot. It gets up to 130 degrees. Really? That's what the world's largest thermometer says. Thermometer. So <laughs> we got next service is an hour. So we're it's like the Wild West. See if Kyle's out here. So to meet up with Kyle. And just a crazy fan, just coming to see Kyle. <laughs> but you know, heard he's coming in Dumont. <laughs> yeah, we heard he was out here. So I was like, dude, I like totally watch NASCAR. And we should go out there and just like drive with him. Maybe we can find him. Maybe we can find him out there, and he'll be in a Camry <laughs> eating M and M's. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. We'll let you know when we get there. If we don't break down. That shit's in a video of me working on the under the hood, fixing it to the head of Ford. <laughs> I still got his number, still got his number. from when I raced rally You cross. should just send it from a unanimous number. <laughs> send it to Edsel Ford. <laughs> like, dude, how do, I, how do I fix this? We got a 2010 Ford F-250. It's really 2010? Yeah. It's almost nine years ago. I know. It's like Dude, this thing's only got half like, my a, life. under a hundred thousand miles on really? it. Yeah. I know. It's just never we never use it. It just gets used at the racetrack as a pit vehicle. Pit vehicle so. Yeah, thanks for the directions. <laughs> As I asked this dude. I asked this dude for directions. I'm like, hey, is this road go? Is it curve to the left because there's and uh, he's like well I just came from Oregon I just stopped to eat lunch right here I'm like just well his yeah his dude's OG he don't even care he's just cruising around So we're trying to find on the map here. Looks like we're in the right spot. Now I don't. I, I don't, don't know. think that's him. That's not him. I know that. <laughs> yeah, there's another one other rig out I here. I really think it's that one. Oh, so we gotta go a little further down. That looks like it's sand. Where are we? Where are we? It looks like ice. <laughs> Where are we? Where's the track? Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, where the mountains look good. <laughs> it does. It I want to drive though. I know. I've been in the car too long. Let's go. Let's not get stuck first. I think though, like, if you race cup. Yeah, it's it. How many weekends or in is it? 30. 38? 38 weekends. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a thing. Literally get. I love it. Yeah, I'm just saying you literally would get like 10 weekends off, hardly, you know? 14. So these dudes are like, I like to go do something different. Yeah. I think the hardest part about racing NASCAR would be just dealing with people every oh, weekend. Because you're at a different track, you know, it's eventually start wears on you and then. I think that's where crew comes into play a lot. Like yeah. with your friends and your crew. Yeah, like I feel like in the beginning for me racing Cayman, it's like having a crew 
that's not fun to be around yeah. and like enjoyable to have around where it's kind of like oh they're walking over here talking here now and sucks. must be in trouble for something but instead of having a crew we can like hang out with be buddies yeah, and have fun yeah it helps a lot you gotta think that's a long season a lot of people and everywhere you go is uh fresh faces and they're all excited and you know and then you start getting into travel every state so you get all these family people that are come out of the woodwork yeah been a long time since i've been to dumont i think the last time i don't even remember it's been like late 90s maybe early 2000 so dumont it's actually pretty nice it's when that's when uh, Chris Ackerman crashed out here. It was a pretty gnarly ordeal. But now we're back. Many years later. Look how big those hills are. That looks scary. That looks like fun. Oh, scary. Scary. I got this in there. Oh <laughs> wow, thanks. Step the game up. <laughs> back to here. Good. What? High or low gear? Uh, high. High? Four wheel drive, high. Firm, sport, or comfort? Two wheel drive or four? Four. Four? And comfort. Comfort, got it. Getting ready to go out. <laughs> we got the stalkers, the stock bad boys. So, should be good. been out in the dunes in so long. So fun. Been a long time since I did anything cool like this, so pretty sick.
mind eating sand, it's all right. Just cruising around, uh, heading back to the uh, track, back to the camp. And we're out, boys! I need a seatbelt, dog. times you like gee out and lose your stomach yeah, like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. like I noticed myself like screaming to myself and yeah, like there was one point where I drooled on my like self yeah. because I was like yelling so loud yeah. <laughs> can you just pin it and I've ne like you never really get the chance to go down a hill like that huge wide open in uh -huh. sand like on in, you know in anything just whoa oh. flying and you don't see where it curves because it's all the same color yeah especially like when the sun's hard to see when there's no shadows yeah so that was a fun day got a rail in the dunes was it fun it was so much fun <laughs> i've never really done that before it's a little sketchy when you like bottom out on the ground like you come over a ledge and high size like a cliff but other than that it's so much fun yeah, going wide open I down the hills. I can only imagine on a dirt bike, like. Yeah. How gnarly. Like, oh. Yeah, it's fun. Like, I need a car from a horse car. Yeah, we need a fast car that rips. Like, like we can just rah, rail the hills yeah. and stuff. So, but overall, first time to the dunes. It's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So, and the stock Polaris's got around pretty good. I think half the fun part is driving a stock machine, like, on the edge mm -hmm. <laughs> that's like uh, uh, like flying <laughs> sideways yeah yeah like literally s like catwalking across the hills sideways you want to go fast but not too fast i away. know or you might drop and all yeah. of a sudden you blow your face to the steering wheel <laughs> yeah with the stock seat belts <laughs> i know overall i think it's pretty fun like the polarises are pretty sick and Mind pretty cool little trip i mean it could have went lame but uh, overall it was sick i was basically got to come out and rip around so it was pretty cool mm -hmm.